Good morning. It is 6.30 a.m. on a lovely Tiki Technical Tuesday. I am once again doing things I can't really show you. We are slip casting. This Tuesday is going to be the same as the last Tuesday and the Tuesday before that. Um, so I thought I'd dive deep into one of my most important tools, my slip table. So a slip table is like an all-in-one slip mixing and pouring station. In our studio, we use a Lily Pond Big Puddle, which is, I think, a pretty cool name for a big puddle of mud machine. Uh, it is a giant mixing and storage tub, basically, with a work table on top. It uh, has two pumps, one big one on top that runs a propeller blade down inside of the slip, and it mixes the slip. When we mix a dry slip, we put it all in here and mix it up. And also, every morning, it agitates the slip and gets it ready to pour. There is a second pump on the side of the machine, and this is connected by a hose to a spigot, uh, like a pump handle, kind of like what you get at a gas station. And this pump pumps slip out of the tank and into your mold when you need it. The tabletop is covered with this cool little rack system. Uh, I modified mine and made it a little better than the one that came with the machine using PVC pipe. And this holds up your molds uh, while you'll fill them with the slip. After you fill them, you flip over your molds, and the greatest thing about this table is you just have to flip them right there, and it all drains back into the tank, and the slip sits in there for next time you need it. The slip tank holds a lot of slip. Right now, we've got 25-ish gallons of slip in here, and as you can see, there is room for plenty more. Okay, I just wanna say, as much as I love my slip table to death, it's not essential for casting, for doing slip casting. For years and years and years, this was my slip table. I just had five gallon buckets of pre-mixed slip that I would buy from the ceramic store. I would tip them over and fill up this thing and then I would fill up all my molds and then when my molds were ready to flip, I would carefully pick up that mold and hold it over this and pour it back into the pitcher. Totally works if you're doing a small amount of molds or not very big molds. But as the molds get bigger and there are more of them, uh, the slip table definitely helps. But it's not required. Don't feel like it's a required tool. Um, but I do love mine. Anyway, uh, we're gonna fast forward till this afternoon uh, for sculpting. Really quick, before we fast forward, uh, I want to touch on the tool wall that I have behind the slip table uh, in case you're wondering what all those little gizmos are. First up, we have the digital timer and this can track four different things at once, which is great if you're casting. Some molds are bigger than others, so they require more dwell time, so that'll be like the first set, and then sometimes a smaller mold means less time, so that'll be that one. This is really nice. Maybe I've got some molds dwelling, maybe I've got some molds drying. I love this thing. Uh, these are crazy automotive tools uh, that I use uh, to pry apart molds. So I build my molds with uh, special shaped keys in them, like right here, and you can put this tool in here and pop the mold open. Very handy. Funnel for filling small molds. Uh, scrapers for cleaning off the slip table. Um, this is my little uh, Mud Tools uh, rubber kidney, uh, and I use this for cleaning up plaster molds after I open them. After I open these castings, I use this to gently pry out and peel off any uh, additional slip, clean up the molds before I close them back up. This is my little tool that I made for uh, cleaning the slip table. Slides up and down. Made that on the laser cutter, super handy. Uh, this is a block print that I did. Sometimes in the morning while I'm waiting for all this slip to set, I'll do linoleum block cutting. This is the casting log for the current project we're working on. Uh, today we're gonna hit 100, woohoo! I have a level here that I use to make sure that my surfaces are always level. I'll put it on my uh, workbenches before I pour silicone molds to make sure that the silicone will sit completely level. These are rulers and um, T-squares that I use for cutting foam core and setting up mold surfaces for pouring silicone molds. I use them all the time. So yeah, that is kind of the everyday tool rack. All right, we have fast forwarded to the afternoon. All the casting is done. We have seamed all of today's mugs. 
and I have just put the monster clay under the heat lamp uh, to do some sculpting. While this warms up, uh, let's do a update on where all the monkey cups are. Yesterday I sprayed uh, 40 monkey cups black with black underglaze. This is number 181 to 220. Um, tomorrow I'm going to wipe away the black on the skull portion of the mugs, uh, leaving the black on the, the, you know, the stone areas. Um, same thing we've been doing for the last month or so. Uh, the good news is I've only got to do this week and then next week and then all the monkey cups are going to be done. Here we are in the shipping room where the last of last week's batch of 40 monkey cup mugs is getting boxed up and sent out to their new homes. Uh, Denise is super meticulous in her packaging and numbering, and I am super grateful for her help because it's a ton of work boxing up all of these guys. Lastly, I've been doing these guys, which are the super limited monkey cups. I'm doing them without the bowls on it, just 10 of them. Uh, so this is AP 10 of 10, so it's the very last one. And it has a little crown. I can't wait, I'm gonna do the crown in a gold luster so that I'll be, have like a 22 karat gold crown. Um, so I did two with crowns. I suspect I'm keeping one of them. And then the rest are all slight variations on this theme, which is like a monkey with uh, the top of its skull broken off. Pretty happy with it. Okay, the clay is softened up and I think I'm ready to dive in on the Puka Pounder. I haven't done much work on it since last time you uh, saw me. Um, just kind of refined the shape, got it to a place that I, I, I'm happy with the general form. And I'm ready to start detailing it and plotting out the face that's gonna be on one side of it. Uh, so that's kind of what's gonna be happening today. Uh, check in a little bit and you can see how far I've gotten. It's four o'clock, I am working on jungle birds and shipping monkey cups. So I'm gonna flip these over and keep going. These have the front done and now I have to do the back. Magic time. It's coming up on five o'clock and I think I'm gonna call it for the day. Uh, I've got the main features roughed out on this guy. Uh, Denise has got all the boxes packed up and ready to ship. So we're heading off to the post office. Um, thanks for spending Tuesday with us.